Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, meteorologist Doug Hetty. want to give you guys an update of what we're going to see as we head into the weekend. Of course, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and then hit that little wonderful bell in the top right corner after you subscribe because we are mainly YouTube. Hey, it's Friday. Uh, heading into the weekend, which is always nice. It's been super warm, windy today. We've had winds at times gusting, um, geez, 45 upwards of 50 miles per hour, which is kind of crazy. Kind of getting out there, but that's what we're going to see as we go through the overnight hours tonight. All right, any severe weather, this is mainly going to stay to our west. Western Kansas down through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas as this whole storm system is developing and heading toward us. It's a, it's a strong upper level wave, but um, it's going to kind of, in a sense, max out before it makes it here. So it's going to kind of stretch out, but still we're going to have a severe weather threat as we go into Saturday afternoon and evening. Now, look where most of the threat is. It's still kind of low, but uh, something we definitely want to watch. But the highest threat is really from Kansas City, Emporia, Wichita, back toward Tulsa and all of our southeastern Kansas, northeastern uh, Oklahoma County. So that's where the highest threat is going to be as we go into Saturday evening. Mainly after, gosh, let's say 4 p.m., I think most of these storms will initiate in our far western counties most likely by uh, 5 or 6 p.m. and then they're going to start to march toward the east but once they get to the i-44 corridor they will start to weaken just a bit so uh, main threat is going to be hail and wind i'm going to keep all the all the threats low for now i may up these a little bit tomorrow this is not a monster severe weather outbreak but it could still cause us issues so that's why we want to focus in on it. All right, let's break it down. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's go through the overnight hours tonight. We only dropped back mid-60s. Not too bad. Kind of in and out of the clouds. We are going to have a lot of trash clouds in the morning hours tomorrow. Trash clouds, meaning leftover clouds from thunderstorms out toward the west. Uh, we could even get a few random little thunder showers trying to pop up late morning, early afternoon on the Kansas side, on the Oklahoma side, just kind of leftover convection from those storms out to the west but it's late tomorrow afternoon that we'll have to keep our eyes on so most of the day is pretty good we warm near 80 thunderstorms will try to initiate five six seven o'clock so this is mainly going to be from uh let's say yates center iola chanute fredonia neodice independence over towards sedan that's where these thunderstorms are going to try to get going now the first couple hours these storms get going, we are going to have a tornado threat. So the highest tornado threat, which is not screaming high by any means, but it's there, is mainly going to be west of Fort Scott, west of Pittsburgh, west of Columbus, west of Welch, Oklahoma. So that's what we want to keep our eyes on as we go into tomorrow afternoon. All right, let's go into the evening hours. You can see these bands of storms working east. So here's 9 p.m. These storms are going to get into uh, most of the region, Pittsburgh, Nevada, into Joplin, northeastern Oklahoma, Miami, Fairland, Commerce, heavy amounts of rain. But I do think at this point in time, we switch over to mainly a hail and a wind threat. So I think the tornado threat will drop after 9 p.m. Uh, as we continue through the evening hours, just bands of showers and thunderstorms, and then the cold front will sink in by Sunday morning. Once that occurs, any severe threat is pretty much gone, but we are going to have showers and thunderstorms across the region uh, lasting into Sunday morning. We could even get some heavy amounts of rain, some training of storms, meaning thunderstorms kind of go over the exact same area, uh, especially along and south of I-44. But again, that's kind of a breakdown of severe weather. I'll give you guys a YouTube video probably midday tomorrow. We'll look at the situation and see what it's looking like tomorrow, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, enjoy your Friday evening. We're heading into the weekend. Hope you have a great weekend as well.